Meteorologist Tim Strong. Here we are looking at a very impressive visible satellite imagery here of Milton continuing to pull away from the east coast of Florida after wreaking havoc from uh, last evening. And we do still have a hurricane, uh, 80 mile per hour max sustained winds, gusts are over 100, moving quickly though, offshore, east to northeast at 20 miles per hour and well away from anywhere across the United States, out more into the open waters of the Atlantic. Now the effects of high pressure building in also of Milton down down to our south, create a pretty tight uh, gradient there and some strong winds. Winds are already gusting at 30 in some locations. Just keep in mind if you're going to be working outdoors, cleaning up more debris, and a lot of folks will continue to do that. Some of those weak trees uh, could come down because of the strong winds. And we do have a wind advisory in effect for the central and eastern counties until 8 p.m. So looking uh, and following over the last couple of days of what winds could look like, it's been pretty consistent, holding 30 to 35 plus mile per hour wind gusts across our area. Now we've got a beautiful day. We go right to the live ICAM here. Grovetown, man, nothing but blue sky. Gorgeous day. Breezy winds north at 16. It's currently 74. But then we look out towards you folks in Barnwell County. You've got gusts at 30, 25 to 30 mile an hour wind gusts. Allendale, Barnwell, even Aiken gusting over 20 to 23. Here in Augusta, the winds are gusting at 22. So a lot of us sustained between 15 and 20 with those higher gusts for the rest of today. The highs are going to be cooler than average. We're in that pattern uh, at least for the next few days to stay below average of 81. We're in the mid 70s with the winds continuing 10 to 20. Now the weekend gets a little warmth. We're climbing back up close to seasonal average highs for a few days coming from 78 to 83, but just a absolutely perfect weekend morning lows. Those are going to get a little bit colder here. We're down. We're talking down in the 40s and as early as tomorrow morning too. models are picking up on a little bit of rain in our area across the two state over the next five days, kind of pushing more into the start of next week. Hardly anything coming our way from today and into Sunday and really kind of models are picking up on what's not really consistent across the whole model sketch. Not really a whole lot of measurable rainfall will be found in our region. It's all 70s. It's definitely fall like with upper 60s in the upstate Greenville just shy of 70 Atlanta, Birmingham 70 to 75 degrees. But that pattern warms a little bit closer to average 81. We're looking at 83s from Sunday into Monday. And then about after that, it's another cool down coming our way. So the rain exits off the east coast, strong winds coming in from the north to northeast with very dry air. Uh, as far as the temperatures for the rest of that five day, uh, 5 p.m. stretch, we're looking at low to mid 70s. Won't be quite as windy tomorrow. There's still expected to be some winds, but nothing that's going to be, uh, again, really high like today. How about morning lows? Look at them plummeting down 45, 48 degrees. Some may not even reach the 70 mark. It'll be questionable for a few of our northern counties, maybe uh, just about 70 to 72 degrees for that Friday afternoon stretch. And then back to Saturday morning, we're going to have another chilly one right there. So jackets may have to come out for tomorrow morning and into the weekend with lows in the mid 40s. Again, that first alert through tonight, the 8 p.m. wind advisory. And then next week we go up and right back down from 80s to 60s by Wednesday.